Hi, so I want to talk briefly about the password file in Active Directory and how they work together. So in previous versions of SIGWIN 1.6 and lower, um, everything worked through the password file. So if I open up the password file, you'll notice whatever user I put in is the users that can log in. Uh, regardless of whether other users are in an active directory, uh, this password file restricts it. Now, something changed in 1.7, in SIGWIN 1.7, where even if I don't have a user in this password file, but they're in active directory, they can still log in. And the reason for that is there is another file here called under uh, the Etsy folder. So you notice it's under the Etsy folder here. And there's another file here called nsswitch.config or and if I open that up, uh, what happened is now there's a setting. So the default setting is using the password file and the database. And the database it's referring to here is the SAM database or the Windows SAM database where the uh, users are or the Active Directory database. So that's default. So that, that's the reason why after you've installed or upgraded to SIGWIN, 1.7. Now anybody in Active Directory can actually log into uh, via your SIGWIN, whether you're using, uh, you know, OpenSSH or just uh, SFTP or SSH. Um, you know, whatever user you have in Active Directory can log in. So to restrict that, um, I put in just these two different settings here, just to go by the files. So now, when it just goes by the files, it only allows the users that I have specified in the password file to actually log in. And this is actually documented fairly obscurely. So if, if you go on the SIGWIN homepage here, there's a FAQ. So if I click on the FAQ, uh, there's, there's a series of questions, but um, let me go straight to where it is. Uh, oddly enough, it's answering the question of uh, starting a new terminal window is slow, and why is it slow? So it explains here, uh, right here in this paragraph, that for all of its lifetime, SIGWIN has used Unix-like Etsy password and Etsy group files to mirror the contents of SAM and Active Directory databases. Although these files can be used since SIGWIN 1.7.3.4, new installations now use the SAM Active Directory database directly. So um, it's very obscure and uh, you know if you have that problem this is why and you could read this section of the article. Um, oddly enough it, it doesn't really address uh, that issue directly where you're probably confused why everybody can log in versus just people on the password file. Um, but but this is why so um, but but that's really all I wanted to say about this um, and I hope this helps in you figuring it out if if you were confused now I do want to mention 1.7 came out I believe from my recollection somewhere in uh, mid 2014 the year 2014 so um, if you upgraded or if you used a new installation um, it's like from around that time it's pro or after that time it's probably 1.7 so look out for that issue and um, I hope that clears things up for you and uh, you know hope that it helps and thank you for watching